I just got my uh, blood pressure done today. Uh, for those who don't know, I work in a health clinic right now. So I also uh, got a blood glucose monitor, like a glucometer. So basically this will tell you your blood glucose levels. Hey everyone, Joel Hansen here. And we've recently reached some very special and unforgettable distinguishable subscriber numbers. And because of that, we're gonna have a subscriber special today. Uh, I'm gonna also maybe answer some Q&A questions. So I'm gonna show you what we're gonna do today. So I have multiple loaves of bread. Here's three. I also have a few bags of chocolate covered gummy bears, which we're gonna enjoy. Of course, I'm gonna enjoy my bread, which I'm gonna make into toast with a jar of peanut butter, all natural peanut butter, but I'll be adding salt and stuff. And yeah, so just kind of a weird shebang. Maybe I'll throw in some cookies or some other fun foods. But we're just going to kind of eat some crazy stuff. So, peanut butter toast. Let's go. So I'm thinking this is going to be the most effective way to toast this bread. I also have a partial bread open and a donut, which I started eating. It's pistachio. Oh yeah. That is a lot of bread. Piece of toast, jar of peanut butter, chocolate covered gummy bears, and the remainder of my donut, three quarters. This is for you. So today, we're gonna be eating food. And watch all that. So that was a pistachio donut. Wasn't bad. So um, anyway, so chocolate covered gummy bears and lots of peanut butter toast. I have the uh, Q&A questions as well, which I am gonna answer. So thank you for everybody who did uh, ask me a question. Here we go. So let's start some peanut butter. So this is an all-natural peanut butter. What I do is I dump the oil out so it's extra, extra, extra thick. And then I add some uh, salt and Splenda. So it's sweet and salty. I actually have a box of salt there in case I need more. But uh, yeah, so peanut butter on toast. Delicious. All right. So I'm also gonna try to pronounce everything, despite me having food in my mouth. So let's try. See how this goes. So, from Mr. DM. If we started a GoFundMe page for you to change your name to Big Daddy Joel, what would the price tag? What would be the price tag? One thousand American dollars. Also from DM. Who wins in a fight? Beard versus Joey. Wayne versus Bob. Brandon versus Darren. I'm gonna say Joey. Love you, Adam. Um, probably Bob. Love you, Wayne. And I don't know. Probably Brandon, because Brandon always carries a gun. Still love you, Darren. Next question. From Jay Ryan, do you work out? Yes. How do you not gain weight? I don't eat like this often. I haven't done a food challenge in weeks or a buffet or anything. So I'm splurging to that. From Lori, Lori Kun, Kuhn, do you ever eat something you don't like? And if so, how do you do it without spitting it out? Yes, I eat cheese all the time. I really dislike cheese. Uh, how do I not spit it out? Mind over matter. Mind over matter.
Nicole Carrion. Would you take a subscriber to one of your eating contests? Absolutely, I encourage everybody to come. Joan Lightfoot says, what kind of food for your next mukbang? Um, I guess this is like a mukbang. Endless Summer DG says, why are you so handsome? Got it from my mother. Um, and hi to you, Endless Summer DG. Tim Griffin says, here's the controversial question. When doing a large food challenge, or large fast food challenges, do you get sick? You're a beast when it comes to putting food away, and I've always wondered if competitive eaters keep it down. I can't speak for everybody. There has been a couple times after challenges I've gotten sick, but I mean, generally, I just go through the pain and agony. Sunday Joy says, Who is your favorite food competitor? Are you planning to go international with food competitions? What are your long term goals? I can't pick one, I'm too biased uh, for favorite food competitors. Going international, I go international all the time. Uh, I live in Canada, so every time I go to the United States, I'm international. But outside of the continent, yeah, definitely. At some point, I just need to get around to, you know, have the schedule and whatever. But I'll make it to the uh, make it to Europe at some point for sure. South America again for sure. All that good stuff. And the last one, what are your long-term goals? Um, my long-term goals, I mean, really, are just to, like, have fun. I enjoy what I do and uh, just continue having fun. That's the, the ultimate goal. Melina Tessier says, Considering Chestnut did 34.5 at his first Nathan's, are you proud of your first hot or your last hot dog run, which is my first? No. <clears throat> No, I'm not proud of that number. I was okay with that number. Because uh, I kind of knew what I was getting myself into. I was very inexperienced. I didn't know anything. And that was my like first practice. So Joey, who had done 34.5 at his first Nathan's round, would have practiced. So, no, I'm not uh, proud. But I'm, I was okay with that. Lynn Jago says, When are you going to ride horses again? I don't know, but hopefully soon. I'm looking forward to you getting better and improving your skills. And remember, no shorts. For horseback riding. I will remember. Thank you. John Lorene says, Hey Joel, at this point you didn't go try Nathan's. What's up with that? To go to Nathan to eat in an MLE contest, you have to sign the Major League Eating Contract. If I did that, I would not be able to do any small independent uh, contests in my local neighborhoods, at least standardly, generally. Um, so, I'm not sure it's something I want to commit to it yet. Veronica Walden says, Hi Joel, will you do a blindfold taste of foods? Um, sure, I'd do that. Patricia, Patricia says, how do you prepare for a contest? How do you choose your challenges? I choose challenges based on location, uh, often, most often location. If there's money involved, that, and sometimes the food. The food's last, actually, to be honest. Location is probably the first. And preparing for a contest, um, you can do like a max out meal. I'm at a point where I don't find it like a huge amount of difference whether I do or not because I'm just kind of used to eating the large portions but I sometimes go to the gym maybe drink some water just loosen up hang out Michael Kenston says, How do you eat so freaking fast, ma'am? Do you do challenges every day or do you prepare the night before? I know I don't do challenges every day. I do them very infrequently, actually. Unless I'm traveling, then I do a lot. Let me show you how to eat fast. Alright? So, here is how you eat fast. Generally, a normal person would take a piece of bread and go like this. It's kind of toasted, but it's kind of softer now. 
and they'd sit here and they'd chew it like this. Like I'm eating like a normal person right now. And they'd sit and they'd chew, and they'd chew, and they'd chew, all right? The quick way to do it, we take this piece of bread, okay? Have liquid. You take, I don't want to say like super small bites, but like smaller bites. So you take slightly smaller bites, more bites, and then just use your liquid as a tool and wash it down. Um, HP says, what are you taking in school? Uh, theoretically, I'm kind of, I'm only barely in school right now by like, uh, what do you call it? Almost by like deep, like I'm barely in school right now. I'm doing an internship, dietetic internship. But I have a bachelor's of science and a master's in science, both in human nutrition. Uh, yes sir says, do you watch movies, your favorite? And can I recommend one? Um, I wouldn't say I watch a lot of movies. And honestly, the last movie I watched was A Star Is Born. That's a movie with Lady Gaga. It's kind of like a romance book or something, or it's supposed to be like a romance story. I wouldn't call it a romance story after seeing it. It's pretty like it's pretty messed up. Um, it was good. I'd recommend people like watching it. It was solid. I'd recommend. Melina Tessier again says, if you ever got 500,000 to a million subs, would you make YouTube your full-time job? Do you enjoy it enough to make it a career? I definitely enjoy it enough. Would I still hold like a normal career? Uh, potentially. But yeah, I would like, if I could make it my full-time job, I would love to. I really enjoy YouTube and talking to people. Who would you like to do a collaboration with that I haven't done? I really want to do one with uh, Jeff Esper. That's from Mr. Jason Mass. Jason, love you, brother. Somebody says, what do you actually do for a living? I'm a dietetic intern. Newman Akhtar says, how old are you? I'm 23. Levy says, are you ever going to do challenge contest towards the West Coast? Yeah, absolutely. I was in BC in November. Um, can I fix your eyebrows? Sure. Alan Moffat, do you have any world tours planned? Uh, not yet. I'm going to be going a couple places in the United States in the next bit. Um, but not a whole world tour planned at this point. Roland Mendoza says, what inspired and motivated you to do eating competitions? How do you prepare yourself mentally for a challenge? You have to be ready for a lot of pain. You have to be probably a masochist. And you have to be like... Like, for myself I can speak, I have a lot of discontent. I can channel when I really want to, just a lot of like that kind of, I don't know, I don't want to say anger or frustration, but just a lot of that like energy. And what inspired me to do food challenges? I've always liked to eat. Then I watched a couple of Randy videos after years of being like, I bet I could do a food challenge. And I went and did one. I barely did it, barely, barely completed it. I felt absolutely horrible afterwards. But then I was like, I'm gonna do that again. And here we are. Jane Armstrong says, have you done a McDonald's challenge? Yes, I have. I did one. Um, it was like how fast to eat. I think it was nine cheeseburgers, McDonald's cheeseburgers. Um, and then kind of the continuing question, eating 100 double burgers in 30 minutes. I don't think that's possible. The world record for plain hamburgers is like 70 something by Jeff Esper, I think, maybe even 80. And um, when Esper, Bob, Darren, anybody did these massive single burger challenges, it takes them like hours. When is your next food challenge with Randy and Mitch or anyone else? Do you plan on visiting a Doha or Qatar? But yeah, maybe eventually, that'd be great. Next challenge with Randy and Mitch, I'm not 100% sure. I actually really tried to meet up with Randy when would that have been in May, maybe? May? And uh, just didn't work out, unfortunately. But I did really try. Uh, next collab, probably from now with uh, uh, like Andy Poole, maybe uh, Dan Kennedy. I'm seeing them in a couple weeks, or yeah, a couple weeks, so hopefully then. Anyway, that's all my questions. So thank you so much, everybody, for your uh, participation, your questions. 
all your support. So now we're just gonna eat some food. That took way longer than I anticipated. It took like 20 minutes, so I gotta hurry up. I'm actually getting like jaw fatigue from all this toast. And peanut butter, it's a lot of it. So I just realized my camera shut off. I'm actually not sure when it did. I was kind of fixated on eating. But uh, this is uh, this is ridiculous. I am already regretting this. I'm not even uh -uh, done the toast. It's just cutting my mouth up. thing is this bread just tastes horrible now. It doesn't even taste good. I don't even think the taste of peanut butter tastes good at this point. It tastes not bad still. Hard to round peanut butter, but yeah, this bread's horrible. I haven't used quite a lot of water. I'm definitely at like at least three liters, so like over three quarts, maybe almost, well, yeah, about three quarts, probably three liters. By the way, I actually missed one question. This question is by Joan Lightfoot. For being a handsome man, do you have a girlfriend? What kind of food for your next mukbang? So I already answered the second question, the first question. So I actually do not have a girlfriend. Um, for those of you who have been following my channel for a while, I have had a long-term girlfriend uh, named Danica. Um, we've always had a great relationship. Um, we did decide to end things, but it was not like a scandalous breakup. It was a very adult breakup. It was very, um, on both sides, we're very understanding on the same page. You know, not any explosions, you know, we're still talking, you know, we're still good. It was, uh, I mean, if you want a reason, basically just, um, again, if those of you have really been following my channel, we've been doing long distance for a while. And that distance has, like our long time, our time apart, our long distance has just kept getting longer and longer due to a series of different events. So, um, we just decided, you know, for the progression of the relationship, uh, you know, although it was great, you know, great times, I think very highly of her, I'm sure she does of me. Um, you know, we just decided to kind of go our different ways. Um, I don't want you to be sorry about it. I'm not sorry about it. It was meant to be, uh, you know, and it's, it's been a, just for a little bit now. Uh, so yeah, but it's all good, like I said. No scandalous, no crazy reasons. It was basically just, you know, doing long distance for, well, you know, three, wasn't really three years, but we went out for about a year, about three, three and a half years, and uh, we're doing distance for quite a bit of that. I did miss that question. 
Let's try some of these gummy bears. I need something different. I'm, well, I can't say I'm sick of peanut butter. Even though I ate literally 90% of the jar. But I am definitely sick of that dang bread. My mouth is too, it's all cut up. So these are chocolate covered gummy bears. Apparently they are fruity gummy bears in real milk chocolate according to the package. Oh man. And we've been eating for like, about, uh, well, this started this Q&A 25 minutes ago. So literally 25 minutes of dang bread eating. Yeah, I was answering questions in between, but that's why I'm so sick of it. Whereas if you do it quicker, it's, you know, less less chance of getting flavor fatigue right away. So these things are, well, I mean, they look like, kind of like chocolate covered gummy bears. This is like many of them combined. But, uh, wow, very fruity. Actually, like, way fruitier than, like, a normal gummy bear. If you've ever had, like, a Turkish Delight, that was exactly what this tastes like. like. Chocolate on the outside. Very fruity, gummy center. Hmm. Yeah, I never... I'm actually... I'm kind of glad they went with a, uh... a fruitier tasting bear. Because normal gummy bears don't have super strong like flavors. That one's green. That one's red. So they are different flavors. But very fruity. Interesting. Very sweet. Chocolate's not amazing, but whatever. There's a lot of calories in this. There's only a little bit left in this pack, and there's like a thousand calories per bag, which is dumb. I'm gonna get a fork, I wanna try something. I will say these gummy bears, after doing the bread, it's not an easy choice on the jaw. I wanted to try um, this motion. Okay. Oh my jaw. I take back what I said, these don't taste very good. It all tastes the same. I'm putting on some music. My stomach's really starting to hurt me. Like I'm getting a cramp. There we go. These things are gross. Coconut caramel cookies. I'm just gonna eat a few because I actually like enjoy these, so I buy them for my I buy them from the American Walmart. They're like a dollar thirty-six a pack or something, super cheap. Excuse me. And um, I just eat them like for my own enjoyment, so I'm not gonna eat the whole pack just to burn. It's my last pack. I love a few. Oh, these have definitely been melted. Look. They like melted together at some point. But uh, yeah, no, these are solid cookies if you haven't tried them. So they're like, it is an actual biscuit with caramel, kind of like a caramelly candied coconut. Focus. Oh, hold on. There we go. I don't know why I want to focus right there. There we go. Look, chocolate caramel cookie. It is a real biscuit though. I usually eat them cold out of the fridge. Like I said, this is my last pack I had in the cupboard. And it's tasting a lot more marshmallowy out of the fridge.
That's kind of weird. I don't like it as much. I'm going to keep them in the fridge. Would recommend in the fridge. Out of the fridge, not as good. These would be cold. I wouldn't say they smell like coconut. Less like marshmallow for whatever reason. If I can get the freaking pack. So anyway, I will, uh, I finished all my water. So now I'm about a liter, or about a gallon of water in. Maybe a tiny little bit less, but about a gallon. Um, so pop, I'll finish the rest of my root beer here. This is a diet root beer. Also uh, American Walmart brand. I believe this cost me 72 cents. I'm trying to move the label for you. Anyway, it's up to there. Maybe you can see the shadow. There you go. It was a little, I had a little bit, but not much. I'll answer a few other common questions I get. Um, what kind of music do I listen to during challenges? I usually listen to like hardcore, almost like death metal, metalcore. Sometimes I'll listen to rap, but like it's hardcore rap. I'll give you a taste if you want. I'll give you a taste of like my, my, my metal-ish eating music. It'd be like this. So that's what I, uh, that's what I eat to. Casually I listen to actually basically no metal. Sometimes some like kind of light metal. Um, but I listen then more casually to rap, definitely like hip hop rap. I like um, kind of like very beautiful music. Uh, Louis Capaldi, James Bay, I don't know what you call it, like indie rock kind of stuff. Um, I like classical, I think I might have said that. The sugar's starting to hit me. We've been doing this for, I don't know, at least 45 minutes probably, maybe 50, 40, 45 minutes. I listen to like also like, um, I don't know, it's almost like, I don't want to call it necessarily like gospel music, but like beautiful music, like, uh, like that kind of stuff. It's kind of funny. So it's like, my eating is like my hardcore stuff, and then the rest of this peaceful music, here's like another taste. And I'm I ever it's almost like balancing me out. <laughs> so I have my hardcore times, then I have my softer times. That's probably it. I have like the two extremes. Um, other questions I get familiar, again, just people say like, how often do you, do you do challenges? And again, I, I'll say it again, I've said it a hundred times. I really don't do ch like things like this often. I, if, you know, if you notice, I basically never do things at home because again, I don't do these things often. I don't want to do them often. I do the odd challenge at home, but like this. Really, it's almost only my subscriber specials or like, you know, something very special arises. Maybe I get it a butt package or something. But, um, yeah. I, so I, I only really do restaurant challenges or contests. <sighs> Excuse me. Um, so, yeah, I really don't do them often. So, like, it is, like, moderation. That sounds funny, but, you know. If you average it out, I'm sure it's like uh, one event a week, and the only time I ever really do a lot of eating things in, in a short period of time is if I'm traveling somewhere. So, you know, it's kind of like, you know, they say the term win in Rome. I haven't been to Rome, but, you know, like if I'm gonna go to New York for the weekend, right? I don't, like New York City, Buffalo's pretty close for me, but if I'm gonna go to New York City for the weekend, I'm gonna go hard, you know what I mean? It's like, you're in a new city, uh, you might not get there again for a long time, maybe ever, so, you know, I usually push it and I try to get the most out of my trips. The, you know, that being said, there's sometimes I don't. I purposely don't push it. I don't try to go that hard. But 
for the most part I do. Just like, again, it's like if you're going on a trip somewhere, usually you'd probably spend a little bit more money, do a few more activities than you normally would in your average every day. That's basically, that's basically what I do. Uh, people often ask me, what do I do to work out? How do I work out? I go two days on doing weights, one day off. I used to do cardio every day. Currently, I'm not doing cardio every day. Uh, I'm going to start doing a little bit more. But like right now, I don't. I barely do it like once a week. I was I just due to timing and laziness and events. Not well, not so much laziness. I really enjoy it actually. I really like uh, running in the heat. So I hate the cold, but I like running when it's hot outside. Uh, so I do do that. But the last like I'll do that on my off day generally. So two days in the gym. Then my next my off day, I will. That's when I do the, usually do uh, my cardio, uh, at least like currently over the last little while. But this past, ooh, I'm gonna say like two, three weeks, I really haven't. Um, really, honestly, it's because I've gotten caught in work. Like, I've gotten caught in work. I've worked. I haven't eat. Like, you know, started doing schoolwork or you know work. They call it school. It's not really school. You know, at uh, I don't know. Let's say 10, 10 a.m. Then I'm freaking, I go straight until like 2 p.m. And then I'm like, dang it, I need to go to the gym. So I go to the gym. By the time I get home, it's probably like, or sorry, this is an off gym day. So then it's 2 or 3 o'clock. And then I start to question. I'm like, well, you know, do I want to go? And sometimes I do. Sometimes I don't because then I often have more work to do or I want to eat because I've eaten uh, so far the day. Uh, yeah, I'm really starting to feel the sugar, y'all. Uh, yeah. Now, now my schedule is very like strict 8 eight thirty to 4 30 right now although I have to get up super early go to the gym um, and then when I get home I've been you know I just eat hang out I, I usually have uh, large meals like at night I, I do eat throughout the day if I'm like doing something all day like 8 30 to 4 30 or if I like went to the gym, like this morning I went to the gym at like 6.30 a.m. So I ate something throughout the day. Then I kind of still do that 8.30 or 4.30 schedule. But uh, I, I eat most of my food at night, in the evenings. It's what I enjoy. It's not saying that there's anything better to it. It is what I enjoy. Um, and often over the last month or so where I've had a little bit more flexible schedule, Times I didn't eat until like 5 p.m. I never eat before I go to the gym. So if I'm doing schoolwork till 2 p.m., going to the gym, not getting back until about 4:30 or 5 p.m. I'm not eating till then. Um, and then I honestly I'll eat all my calories within a couple hours. It's not hard for me to do. Um, here, I have some more soda. I'll bring out. I, over the last couple months, have drank way more. I'm undoing my pants, by the way, if you're wondering. Over the last few months, I've uh, increased my soda consumption quite a bit. Not saying I'm proud of it. I'm not saying it's a good thing. I always, I only drink diet, but uh, I really like Diet Mountain Dew. And Kroger has Diet Citrus Drop, which is their fake version. <laughs> but they also have a Diet Drop Red, which if you like, <laughs> excuse me, it's basically like a knockoff it's like an off-brand Kroger brand diet Mountain Dew code red and it's damn good I really like it I use it I use it as like a caffeine it's like some people that have like a coffee during the day I'll have like a glass of uh, soda pop like Mountain Dew that's how I like it I'm not actually as big a fan of like these dark I like root beer in moderation this is a like diet, just like a knockoff Diet Coke. I'm not actually a big fan of Diet Coke. And if you've seen my uh, my get what was it, get up challenge, get up challenge. Sometimes it does funny things to me. No, I'm just kidding. Oh, um, you often see me wearing this tank top and my black stringer. It's because it's the summer. It's hot, and they're both. 
like I'm gonna call them like eating clothes, clothes that I don't care if they get dirty. Like they're already like this one I actually had a hole in the back. Um, so I often wear these in my videos or when I'm doing eating or contests or whatever. Just because, you know, if I want to wear like a tank top and I don't care that I get dirty because I don't like wearing nice clothes or real clothes to eating challenges because I often do get food on myself. Um, yeah, I don't know. That's that's probably the majority of the like basic questions I get asked. Uh, the last one, it's not about working out. Like some people think like, oh, you must work out hours each day. It's not about working out, it's about diet. So you do something like you have like, you know, a high calorie day, it's all about diet for the coming weeks, maybe months. It's not, uh, it's not, work, working out burns very low calories. Uh, shouldn't say that. Working out burns a significant amount of calories. But if you're still eating large amounts of calories, it doesn't matter. It's, it definitely comes down to, for me, comes down to calories. Uh, anyway, I think that's about it. I can't think of any other questions right now. But uh, yeah, so that everybody. Hope you enjoy it. Thank you again for the support. Uh, I'm not sure this video will be out before then, but I will be in New York City August 10th and 11th for uh, doing a number of different eating contests on Long Island. So I guess more Long Island, but I will be in New York City as well. So everybody, thanks for watching. I have nothing else to say. I am going to go freaking go to sleep. I am getting hit with sugar. So, peace. Hi everyone, and for fun. Um, so, I just got my uh, blood pressure done today. Uh, for those who don't know, I work in a health clinic right now. So I also uh, got a blood glucose monitor, like a glucometer. So basically this will tell you your blood glucose levels. If you were diabetic or had other reason to worry about your blood glucose levels, you would have one of these. Um, so yeah, I'm actually gonna, it was a few hours after I ate all that stuff. So I'm gonna test my uh, blood glucose, see where it is at. Um, I also got my blood pressure done today, and, and fun fact, so I, I consume a lot of salt in my diet. If you've been watching a lot of my videos, you know I like my salt. So the, the normal, um, here's a lancer, this is what pokes you to bleed, I'll talk while I do this. The average uh, blood pr pressure is 120 over 80. Um, by the way, the although 120 over 80 is very standard, the measurement of blood glucose is going to be in I think it's millimoles per liter it's a Canadian standard but you can convert it to an American standard if you um, are interested in doing that so my Lancer is primed it has pulled that and you're going to take your finger and you're going to prick yourself oh, that is not strong enough hold on I gotta adjust it there's like different settings for how hard you want to do it, like to jab yourself basically. So let's try that. Okay, yeah, that got me. So see, I got poked. There's a little bit of blood. I gotta get enough out of it. Here's a little bit of blood. It's right there, it's coming. Here. Sometimes you just massage it out. I gotta make sure I get enough because I don't want to waste this test strip. I don't have that many. And they're very expensive. There you go, I should have enough. See? Blood. You can barely see it, but there you go. Alright, so let's test my blood. Um, sorry, I started saying that. Uh, so I got my blood pressure taken today and average is 120 over 80. Mine was 90 over 64. The nurse literally asked me, she said, do you feel lightheaded, like you're gonna pass out or anything? So my blood pressure is actually like extremely low, not high. So anyway, we're about to test the strip. So you do this little band on the strip right there. I'm going to put the blood into it. The blood is in the strip, it's now red, and it's testing. So it is uh, 6.2, which is very, very healthy. I'm really surprised it's that low, actually, 
uh, after eating. Um, so in Canadian standards, the average before eating would be between four and seven. The average after eating, uh, yeah, it's been, yeah, it's been about two hours after my meal, which is when you normally test, is between five and ten. Um, and so I'm very healthy. So for those who always ask about, you know, my health, uh, my blood pressure is actually low, like lower than it probably should be, to be honest, which is really interesting. I was surprised it's that low. Like it was still all bloody. With the amount of uh, sodium I consume. Uh, where do I put this? So I was very surprised about that. Um, and now my blood sugar is a healthy range. So that's good, that's good to know. Uh, yeah, so, and that everybody, thanks for watching. There's my health, I'm still healthy. Until next time, you stay healthy as well.